Phytosterols, um, they're a supplement, they're a nutraceutical. If you go to uh, Cleveland Clinic, they'll say phytosterols, uh, sterols and stanols, or stanols can are boost your cholesterol lowering potential. So it's good for you, right? According to Cleveland Clinic, yeah. Um, <clears throat> But then you look at some other places like Authority Nutrition. Maybe not as big a name, but they're saying they're taking the opposite side here. Phytosterols, heart healthy in, in uh, quotes, nutrients that can harm you. So, first of all, what are phytosterols and then why is the debate? Well, <clears throat> some of you, the biochemistry geeks out there, might recognize this. It's a cholesterol base, it's that chicken wire uh, molecule. A, a phytosterol means, again you break it down, phyto means plant, sterol ster means steroid with an alcohol on it. Here's an alcohol, here's the steroid, and uh, plants are using this. What are they using it for? The same thing that animals use for steroids. I mean, um, Cholesterol. Cholesterol is a part of any of healthy cell membranes in animals, and phytosterols are parts of healthy cell membranes in plants. So if they're in plants, they got to be good, right? Well, again, I'm not going to repeat the debate. Just by way of introduction, this is Dr. Ford Brewer with PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, uh, cancer, disability prevention. Um, because of what we do, uh, we talk a lot about lifestyle, diet, exercise. Those, are the, those things can have a huge, maybe the biggest, impact on your health and longevity. So <clears throat> we end up talking about supplements quite a bit. Um, so <clears throat> vegetable oils and margarines are high in phytosterols. Well, why is that? Uh, I think it should be obvious. You find it in, it, you know, it's the plant equivalent of, uh, of cholesterol is what it is. So people are, the logic then is phytosterols can lower L total and LDL cholesterol. Um, actually, I would agree with this quote, but does it matter? When we look at patients, it's rarely LDL that causes the problem concentration of LDL. Now there are plenty of patients out there who have significant LDL problems, but that's not the majority of where, where we see issues. We see issues with uh, what we call cardiovascular inflammation. And three quarters of that, probably, about three quarters of that has to do with insulin resistance or diabetes. So <clears throat> if you could lower your cholesterol with these phytosterols, does that really matter? Uh, for some people it would, yeah. Um, but again, let's continue to dig on this issue. Paradoxically, at least according to this source, paradoxically phytosterols may increase the risk of heart attacks. Now they quoted several different articles. I pulled a couple of them and here's, here's one of them. So <clears throat> basically what they're saying in this article and again, it was in PubMed. PubMed has a lot of really great, um, and it's an academic uh, medical resource, P-U-B-M-E-D. Uh, and you can find a bunch of uh, very um, not well-known, out there, hidden in the closet, uh, academic science. Uh, on this one, they're saying um, plasma sterol uh, elevation can lead to uh, heart attack and stroke. Well, <clears throat> yes, but then I get to the next question. Uh, does the, did the diet drive that? Were these guys taking plant steroids? Did they do a randomized clinical trial? No, not at all. So uh, <clears throat> actually, you know, just like in so many other things, there's debate about this issue. Let me just give you a couple of, uh, a, a couple of groups here. Yes, healthy for you. No, not healthy for you. So I, I think as, 
Currently, AHA, the American Heart Association, is still saying, yes, it's healthy for you. And obviously, the clinic, Cleveland Clinic is. Um, the UK NICE, uh, that's basically um, the uh, National Institute for uh, Care Excellence at the UK. The French Food uh, Standards Agency, the German Drug Standards Agency, they're all saying, no, it's not good for you. So when there's a debate like that, my patients always ask me, well, what do I think? Um, I don't think it's ready for prime time yet. I, I, I'm not worried about it. I actually, let me show you. <clears throat> what, what raised this issue for me was a friend of mine or an acquaintance uh, gave me these. She, uh, she sells nutraceuticals and she obtained this, uh, these phytosterols, packaged them and uh, wanted to help supplement her income with, the, with those. What do they look like? Um, they come in these little things. And you get these little pills. There you go. Plant phytosterols. Now, I didn't go deep into the... Um, what else? Well, okay. Cellulose, modified cellulose, you know plant um, cell membranes, steric acid, silica, magnesium stearate. Um, I'm not going for it. I'm not using it. Now, <clears throat> how about, they said you see these in margarines. So Smart Balance has a reputation out there for being one of those healthy margarines. I got some and it says it's got olive oil in it. Well, <clears throat> it doesn't say anything about having plant sterols, but I got, I, I, uh, I think it's got some in there. However, even though it says it's got olive oil, it also has canola, palm, uh, olive oil, and flaxseed oils. Well, I would certainly uh, agree with the olive oil and the flaxseed oil, or maybe the flaxseed oil. Um, but I, and I've heard great things about it from other folks that I consider to be experts. So I still need to read a little bit more about Smart Balance and find out why they think that's so great. Right now I'm using it. I'm not using the phytosterol supplement. Thank you for your interest.